everybody, it's a crazy fan ghost time. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with One Division episode three. And it has been a long week of plotting and theories being made across the internet. It has been great to see that people have been catching on to this show and actually enjoying it. Um, I did see a lot of people in my comment section not enjoying it, which surprised me because I thoroughly enjoyed the first two episodes. Obviously there is a few slow like paced moments but that's like the thrill of it and that's the sitcom feel that sometimes comes with different episodes that I have seen in different sitcoms. But overall I personally am loving it. It's so good. Um, the feel of it is so different to anything we've gotten recently and again the tension moments I absolutely love. And just a quick a um, few theories before we jump into the reaction and obviously watch this episode. I will say I am hoping to see with the advertisement something to do with Ultron or Pietro because obviously Pietro did die during Age of Ultron. So it's either something to do with Ultron or Pietro. We'll see. I think it might be Ultron more than Pietro, but we'll see. Um, I'm excited to see if we do see any signs of like a Quicksilver, whether it's the one from the X-Men series or the one that was in this one, like Aaron Taylor Johnson. He was my favorite. He was so good. I'm so sad that he got killed off so quickly though, because he was so like cool. And Quicksilver is one of my favorite characters. So when he was only in one movie, I was like, come on, man. <laughs> so I hope we do get to see like Quicksilver in this or something, like one little glance. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see what else happens. Because again, me and Alex did say in the aftermath and quick quick um, <laughs> input about my channel, but we have this podcast and show called The Aftermath. If you don't know what that is, it's a podcast where we break down the shows that we watch together, we make theories, we talk about what we didn't like and liked about episodes of TV shows, and yeah, it's all in a podcast. You can check it out either at the end of the video or you can just check it out on my channel. But in this week's episode of the double episode that we did in the podcast, we were saying that it's a possibility that the children of Wanda and Vision may have a bigger part to play and that another character and a villain that is being really anticipated for and everyone's sort of getting excited because there are sort of like 666 signs everywhere. So everyone's hoping that Mephisto, who technically is the devil, is in this series or like signs of him are in this series because he is such a good villain and we did say this in the podcast, like, a lot of characters have made, like, um, deals with him because you go to him and he makes a deal and it, it happens. And that's another plot point that might happen in Spider-Man. Not sure yet, but it'll be exciting. Um, but in terms of this one, we're, um, and a lot of people are saying that Mephisto may show up in terms if the kids do get captured or something happens to them, Wanda may make a deal with Mephisto and may lead to that whole thing with Wanda being involved with Doctor Strange. Um, I can't remember what the second movie is called, but something madness. It might have something to do with that. But anyway, let's jump straight into this. We will talk about more different theories about the movies and stuff in another video. But let's jump straight into this show and this video this episode because i'm so excited so yeah let's go before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more tv shows movies and video games so without further ado let's jump straight into this oh they made another one. Oh yeah because it's yeah it's the 60s to 70s 70s or the 80s all oh, the hexagons infinity stones oh Head's trimming a little too far there, old chum. So I have. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I mentioned it. Creepy. Ooh, I think things get weirder because of like or maybe that's one of the babies. Uh not a painful, but a strange. A tightening sensation? Yeah, that's it. Uh oh. Yes. Already? Excellent. Gives us a chance to work on our breathing. <laughs> oh no. But it's wrong, that isn't it? Huh? This room is hard. Dinner. Outside with her, something's wrong here. Okay, well. She rewound it because he realized what was going on. Wait. 
Wait! Oh! So she keeps rewinding it whenever he tries and finds out what's going on. Oh! That's... Oh! Don't know how I feel about that, but, like, not in terms of, like, the show, but just in terms of wonder. Like, I understand she's trying to stay in this world of perfection, but, you know... It has consequences, and I think we will see that in the coming movies that are coming. It's going to be because of her, because she's done this rewinding and all this, like, just to stay in this world of normality, in her mind, it's normality. But in reality, it's changing all these different universes and realities, and it's going to come back and bite her, because it's just got really bad consequences, so... Eh. <gasps> Oh no, darling, are you alright? This is a real one. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true representation. The husbands need it. Justin? I think my water just broke. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That might have been a really loud laugh, but that was hilarious. Oh, another ad. Sorry, I want to figure this out. If in case it has anything. That wouldn't have anything to do with like... No. Ultron. Oh no! The octopus! Hydra! Okay, so it's still... Hi oh yeah, Hydra soak. I'm such a dumbass. Um, anything else? Is that it? Oh. Well, I understand the Hydra thing, but... Is that connected to anything else? It's not con- Well, it's blue. So, it connect to- Oh wait! Bath powder. It's quick, so it's like a bath bomb. Speed. Ooh, is that like a connection to her kid called Speed? Which is inequivocally to connection to Quicksilver? Maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to connect it. <laughs> oh, a stork! Yes, I can explain. <laughs> no! The crib! Oh, oh no. I can't believe it. It's a wings. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe side eyeing her. I had a brother. Oh. His name was Pietro. Pietro! He was killed by Ultron. Wasn't he? <gasps> no home. How would they know? What? Oh! <gasps> what did you say? She's. Is she from. Wait! Wait, before this happens, I know, like, something might unravel here and we might find something out. But, is she from the real world coming into the Vision somehow, or like Wanda's world, and has been, like, not an imposter, but she's coming in and viewing things and seeing if it's okay? I don't know, but like, I don't know why she's there, but there has to be a reason, and she has to be with S.W.O.R.D., um, especially because of the fact that she's, um... Carol Danvers' friends, I can't remember the fr the friend's name, in Captain uh, Captain Marvel's movie, um, the other pilot, that's her daughter. So, I don't know what else she could be doing there, but yeah, it seems like she might be working for S.W.O.R.D. But anyway. What do you mean she has no home? What's that? Oh, is that S.W.O.R.D.? So she is with S.W.O.R.D. Symbol. Oh, no. Wanda. What did Wanda do? Well, she left, honey. She had to rush home. Oh, this is the evil side of Wanda. Oh, she looks creepy! Oh, the screen's expanding. Why is the screen expanding? Westview. Oh, oh, we're getting outside world! Outside world! Finally! Oh! That was nuts! Oh, but wonder at the end there. Oh, that sent chills down my spine. Wait, there's so much credits. Is there anything? No, the rings. Okay, there's nothing there. But, holy crap, guys! Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, first off, let's talk about just the, the fun part of it, which was like, great! The, the comedy in this one was funny, and I was like hoping there would be pregnancy jokes and stuff. So that was great. And just, again... Paul and Elizabeth were amazing, and just the breathing techniques. That just reminded me that guys need the breathing technique too, <laughs> in those panic moments during pregnancy. Um, but 
great episode. I really, really enjoyed this. It was hooked the whole time. And yeah, two boys. I thought it was a boy and a girl with the kids for Wonder and Vision. My, they might have changed it for some reason. It's okay. It's fine. But um, I am wondering, like, oh, but dude, I need to get to that part about Wanda. Wanda looked creepy at the end. So, yeah, just to maintain her world. So, yeah, obviously, Geraldine was a part of S.W.O.R.D. She was there. Um, and, yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. So, I'm guessing it's either S.W.O.R.D. No. Because it seems like Wanda is in control. She's changing things to her liking. And it seems like all these people have been put into this sort of vision to, like, fill it up and make it seem like it's a real-world scenario, I guess. Um, but it seems like they have a greater purpose. I'm guessing that not all of them, but some of them are agents from S.W.O.R.D. Um, put in there by S.W.O.R.D. So Wanda may not know that, but now I think she has an inclination. There are people who are not sort of a part of the world that she's like had created in the first place which is interesting and it's creepy but like um at the same time oh wonder was scary in that last part um so yeah again i'm wondering like what's gonna happen in terms of wonder because wonder's like but also yeah again i've said this last two episodes as well like wonder's powers can be ducks because they are called the hex powers um and she's just so powerful. So if she does become sort of like an anti-hero villain sort of character, I'm all for it. Because she is so powerful. Imagine her on the flip side in terms of being a villain. That'll be amazing. And trying to maintain that perfect world and, like, keeping people out. And obviously we had that today. That happened real quick. A lot quicker than I thought it would. Because obviously we did see in the trailer that, like, Geraldine got thrown out. Um, so... That's interesting. I wonder what's going to happen next. Whether we might see Jimmy Woo or I think it was Darcy in the next episode. But this was great. Keeping us on our toes as usual. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it again. But oh, I'm trying to think. Like, yeah, because obviously Geraldine knows who Wanda is. So she obviously knew about Pietro and um, just everything that happened with Ultron. And the fact that Ultron got brought up, I was surprised. But, huh, um yeah, and that, and again, that snapped Wanda out of that perfect realm. Like, even though Pietro isn't in that realm and she brought up his death, um, or like, not death, but brought up him, like, it still was scary to see her sort of switch and be like, what's she saying? And it's like, oh, okay, I don't want to be on the receiving end of that. I'm really excited about the next episode and like, how much further it goes. That's going to be cool to see and... There was a few, a lot of moments of tension in this one. So I think the drama is going to hype up more. We're going to see more of the outside world. Um, maybe not in terms of Geraldine, but maybe, but maybe in terms of Jimmy Woo, again, Darcy, and some other people. But again, it seems like there's something else going on. Like, obviously, like, it might have been Jimmy who was in the last episode in the radio. But Jimmy was like, who is doing this to you? And, um... It's a really interesting thing because, yes, Wanda is in control, but I think there has to be some other force that's messing with it as well. Um, so I'm wondering, like, what's going on? Like, who else is going to be involved in stuff? If Mephisto is going to be in the show, that'll be cool. Imagine if we got the first glimpse. Not even, like, actually seeing Mephisto, but maybe glimpses, like, or maybe... Because a lot of people are saying, like, the 666 symbol is Mephisto, because Mephisto is technically the devil. So, hmm. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of WandaVision. Again, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. The comedy was really good in this one. The color, as usual, was beautiful. And also, I was going to say, it's interesting to see that Vision is seeing all these signs of just, like, you know, the imperfections of what's going on. Because, especially in that moment where, you know, he's, he's saying, like, um... Like, they have noticed, like, I have noticed things are going wrong. Like, the dinner, um, uh, I think, what was the other thing he said? The dinner, um, I, I don't think she told him about the radio, but, oh, no, he doesn't remember the thing about the street. He said, especially dinner, and then just before, outside with Herb. And then Wanda just rewinds it, like, oh, it's so well done that it just, like, it sends chills down your spine because it's sort of scary because it's just, like, that thought of keeping everything perfect. And that's what scares me. Like, Wanda is becoming so, like, 
controllative of these moments, especially with the whole Geraldine thing. You saw how quickly she snapped, got rid of her, and then she was like, oh yeah, she rushed home and da-da-da, and now it's perfect, perfect again. So... Ah! Things are gonna get, things are gonna get really interesting. Ah! Oh, I, yeah, I just want to see if it does go as dark as it does. I want to see if it does go darker and... And we get to see, like, a dark version of Wanda, which leads to her maybe being sort of like the anti-hero maybe in the Doctor Strange film. Because obviously she's involved in that. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see, like, a evil version of Wanda, which I would love. Because she's just so powerful. Imagine her being a villain. Oh, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I have to end this video, but I want to keep talking about it. But I'll probably talk about this tomorrow when we do the Aftermath episode, which I'm excited about. This gives us a lot to talk about. And also the advertisement, which was Hydra. Um, so that obviously was a connection more to, like, not, I think, to um, Strucker, but I think maybe as the experiments and also the blue, which was Pietro. So I think there was more of a connection to Pietro in that. I think next episode... Might not be Ultron. It might have something to do with... Okay, we're in episode 3. We have three more episodes to go. So next episode... Might have something to do with... Oh, I think it was Nigeria or something? I can't remember. But she did the explosion in that building. Um, in, in Civil War. Might be something to do with that. Or it might... No, it won't be Infinity War. Infinity War, I think, will be episode 8. Um, and then Endgame will be episode 9, I'm thinking. If it is still in this sitcom setup. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. Because I think now every time the advertisement comes, everyone's like... There's that meme with the Spongebob thing. And it's like, he's sitting in his chair. Like, literally, that was like... I sent that to the my podcast group with Mitch and um, Alex. And we were just like laughing about it. There's so many memes. So that's why we were just like... That's literally everybody who watches the show. But anyway, I have to end the video here. It's like, I love talking about the show. But anyway, I'm going to stop here. So thank you guys so much for joining. I'll see you guys in the next video. Go Zabango out. Woo!